lights, camera, action. Cause we're back, baby. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so, so glad you've clicked on today's video. If you would like, you can subscribe down below. My name is Meg, if you're new here, and this is Film Student Diaries, and we are entering one of the final seasons of Film Student Diaries. For those of you that are regulars on my channel, you know what this is, but for those of you that just need a wee recap, here we go. So I am a film student. I study in Ireland, and I absolutely love, I love movies. They're just my favorite things on the planet. I could talk about them all day, every day. And it's kind of my goal over this next year to talk a little bit more about that aspect of my life on here. One of my favorite things on this channel is my film student diaries where I get to chat all things movies and studying film with you all. So I'm in my very final year of film college. I'm going to my fourth year while well, I'm in it. I'm in it. I started last week. Last year was really the start of this series and you guys saw me write a script. My script got picked. I directed the script. We made it happen. It is now a short film that is about eight minutes long. One of my pride and joys in my life. I have an amazing YouTube video up of that filming experience and also leading up to that through my film student diaries. So go ahead and catch up if you need to. But that film is called Reflection and in fact we are going to our first film film festival this Sunday with it which is so exciting and I'll bring you guys along in the next vlog with that but for now let's kind of stick with where we're at. So last year was a very exciting, very intense, very busy year in college and this year is going to be no different. So I have a dissertation to write this year as well as doing a 20 minute short film. So it's going to be a busy busy year and I'm bringing you guys along for all of it because I think you find this interesting this little aspect of my life so yeah i feel like i just word vomited everything out to you guys there but yes that is the quickest recap i can give you of what the series is what it has been and what it's going to be this year. So I'm bringing you guys along for this week in my life, in my little college life, studying film. It is currently Monday. It is the 26th of September and I'm in my third week of college. I missed the first week of college because I wasn't here. Right now my college timetable, I don't have college on Mondays and Fridays, which is great. I have no college tomorrow because of another reason. So I'm in college this week, Wednesday and Thursday. So let's head over to my desk and talk a little bit more about my dissertation that I have coming up. My goal of the day is to do some work for my dissertation. So for my general topic for my dissertation, I want to focus on the effects social media is having on the film industry. This couldn't be a better area for me to look into because obviously I do content creation online, but I also love the film industry and I want to work in the film industry. The one thing about dissertation that's tough is kind of like narrowing it down to the exact title and topic that you want to cover. Cause that, what I just said there is so broad. At the moment, I'm just kind of trying to collect as much articles as I can and dual peer reviewed sources etc. Studying film can be so exciting and fun and being on set is so fun. Then you also have days like this where it's just sitting at the laptop and researching and film theory and all that kind of stuff which I find equally as interesting it's just a different kind. If I could work on set every day for the rest of my life I would. So yeah why don't we get stuck into this and I will chat to you guys after I have a little bit of work done. Film student diaries. Spoiler! <laughs> Hello, 
so it is a little bit later on it's currently 20 to 6 i've kind of just been glued to my laptop since i last spoke to you guys i did a lot of research it was intense i read a lot of articles yeah i'm kind of finally getting to the point of what it is that i want to discuss in my dissertation i feel like the hardest part of all of this is just going to be actually deciding exactly what it is i need to talk about there's just so many things i would happily discuss but i have to narrow it down but anyway i wanted to show you guys my pumpkins i bought these last week are they so cute i know it's possibly a little bit early for pumpkins but in my mind it's never too early one other little purchase that i made yesterday i got some wellies i got some welly boots because i live in the countryside and i like to go for walks in the forest and even on the beach and it can just be wet and muddy and crappy in ireland so i thought these would be pretty useful i had a little tk max voucher i saw these last week the little hunter welly boots and I went back for them so I'm glad I did. I have these little socks as well that I already had previously that you put on with them but yeah that's some um, new purchases. That's actually rubbish bags. In other news Owen is coming over now because he's staying over tonight but also guess what I'm going to see. I am going to go see Don't Worry Darling this evening. I'm so 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 excited for this. I shared a clip of Harry Styles. I think we've all probably seen it by now. A clip of him acting in Don't Worry Darling. I shared it on my story <laughs> and it got like the most views of my stories have ever gotten. It was just so funny the reaction to it because personally and a lot of other people personally felt the acting was slightly off. You put Harry Styles in any movie, he's obviously going to bring a massive audience with him. So I think for me, it's going to be kind of clear that that's the reason for him being in it. Not that he's not a good actor, he will be a good actor, but I will be curious to see. Yeah, there's definitely some other people that really could have sold it better. But that's me saying it now. I am so happy to be proved wrong. I'd love to walk out of this movie tonight and say, oh my God, Harry Styles is the next big thing in acting. I can't wait. I just have a very strong feeling that I'm not gonna feel that way. I'm very excited to see Florence. There's been so much drama around this film. I'm sure we've all seen it. For Florence to clearly not be speaking to Olivia Wilde is kind of wild. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just excited to see it. I always find going to the cinema just gets me kind of inspired. I have to write a 20 page script, 25 page script this semester. And I'm nervous, I'm really nervous about it. Everybody in my course seems to have thought of ideas already. I have not. I haven't thought of anything. So I'm excited to go to the cinema. I'm excited to get inspired, see if anything comes to me from this. We shall see. I really want to have a nap, but Owen's on his way, so I'm gonna get some food and then we're gonna go. Now I'll chat to you guys tomorrow. Love ya. Time got me at odds, but I got words I can't explain it. Play life's getting up, steady been losing, got the jobs, and know where I am, but I just can't place it. I'm a sick kid, sleep. Very much proud to be off my feet. And it feels good to give me a leap. Give me next week, I'll sell my soul. Put shoes when you're all alone. Give me my love, but I can't take all. Life in the end, man, just feels cold. Who cares if they're all the same? Oh, it hasn't changed if I. And I can't imagine how they're living. Hello, good morning. <laughs> I feel like I'm confused all over again. You do all this research on one topic and then all of a sudden your topic changes. Feeling a little bit discouraged just because I yesterday was so set on something and now that's changed, but it'll be okay. I currently have a sore throat coming on. Anyway. We shall see. Hey guys, so it's currently Tuesday evening. It is quarter to eight. I haven't really felt well all day, so now I have a pounding headache. I'm on a COVID test, it's negative, but I've got college tomorrow morning. Tomorrow I have the same lecture all day long, but it's like for two different classes or even three different classes, I think. So it's kind of like a lecture heavy day I'm gonna have. But yeah, it'll be good to get into college. I enjoy going in in person. It's a bit of a change than being at home. Last night I saw Don't Worry darling and I know some of you might be wanting to hear a little bit of a review on that so I might not be in the headspace to give a full review right now 
yeah, the more I think about this film, the more I don't love it. Overall, I think, in my opinion, let me just fix this up a second. Also, I'm going to preface this by saying I'm not giving any spoilers here. I'm just giving a general overview. I really was excited at the start of the film. Like, the first 20 minutes in, I was like, hell yeah, give me all of this. Give me these Truman vibes, like this, there's something out there, or we're in, like, some sort of simulation vibes. I love that. I'll eat that up. So, I was happy about that. I was excited. Olivia Wilde's acting was second after Florence. She was really good acting. But the big question we all want to know, we've all seen the clip of Harry's acting in this film. I so badly wanted to be wrong. In my opinion, Harry sold the charming, handsome, loving husband role so well. He was charming, he was funny, he was charismatic, which is pretty much him being himself. He's a performer, he was good at it, that was great. The minute he had to do anything kind of serious, anything that was slightly deeper, I mean, to me, the acting was completely off. It was, you could see him him acting like it was it was acting for me the difference between let's say him and Florence there's a lot of differences but let's just say one of the biggest differences is Florence is thinking exactly what the character would be thinking while she's acting so behind her eyes when you look at her she is living in that moment like she is this person whereas when you looked at Harry when he was in his like serious scenes you could see Harry Styles trying to think of what this character would want to do so for me in my opinion Harry is a good actor. He should keep doing roles that require him to be, you know, charming, charismatic, Hugh Grant, rom-com-esque vibes. Yeah, there's lots more I could say, but in general, plot holes were there. I was so excited about this film. I was so excited in the first 20 minutes. I was getting such good vibes, really excited for what was to come. And then just kind of went downhill for me. The end was just, I would be interested to see how much they cut out of the script or something because the end just felt like it was missing quite a lot and a lot of people are coming out of this film saying, what was that about? Or what was this about? Or why did this person do this, etc. And it's okay for a film to leave you with questions and pondering and wondering. But I also think it's not okay to have plot points in a film and then never address them. It is not a bad thing when you're watching a film and you're a little bit confused. That's okay, it's good. It's not a bad thing when a film leaves something a little bit open-ended or uh, leaves you with some questions, but I just thought a part of it was a bit lazy in how they didn't address certain things. Yeah, that was like a very, very brief overview of what I thought of Don't Worry Darling. Overall, I'm giving it three stars. In the car on the way home last night, Owen and I both agreed it was 3.5, but then when we were talking about it today, we were like, nah, it's a three. It's a three. Two stars are going to Florence Pugh. Cinematography was good, production design was, but yeah. There's my little review. If you go see Don't Worry Darling or if you've seen it, chat to me about it. Let me know what you thought and if you agree with any of my little statements that I've made. Also, while I'm saying this now, I have made a Twitter account that's just for movie related stuff. So, so if you're into that, I will leave it in my description box. But yeah, see you tomorrow. Suicide, suicide, the one that makes me disagree.
absolutely soaked because the wind is pushing the rain into my room <laughs> that's not funny but it is look how crazy it is outside <laughs> it is currently Friday morning. Well, it's Friday and it's one o'clock. I'm sure you can tell by my voice. I have a head cold. It is just a head cold. Do not fear. It's not COVID right now, thankfully, but there's a head cold. <laughs> I can't even speak English. There's a head cold kind of going around college at the moment and my sister got it and I'm just so like congested in my nose right now. So yesterday I had TV studio in college. It was pretty fun. I don't particularly like TV studio because it makes me so anxious. It's like you have to pretend you're doing live TV and live TV is so scary. There's just so much pressure with it. I'm so good at this. It's ridiculous. I actually don't want to do that when I have to do rolls. I'm so good, it's ridiculous. I'm really good at my job. Okay, let's go. As you can tell, I'm a real professional and I take it very seriously. <laughs> You guys saw it is lashing rain today. I woke up this morning, it was so dark, so rainy, and I loved it. I was so excited. I'm obviously very sick, so I'm trying to take it easy today. I've just had a shower, so I'm not up to much. So I don't mind that it's raining and it looks so comfy and cozy and it makes me very happy. So I am gonna actually just clean my room a bit today and just get tidied up a little and then get right back into bed. That's just kind of my plan. I wanted to get a little bit more done this week, but obviously since I got sick that was kind of hard to do but I had a very fun week I enjoyed college this week I got somewhere with my dissertation then I took 10 steps back but now I'm feeling a little bit better about it I'm gonna do a little bit of research on my laptop from my bed today and I'm gonna put a movie on on my projector I think my film is gonna be in the film festival this weekend on Sunday so I'm going to that and I'm very much looking forward to it I'm hoping if I rest today I will feel better then another thing I'm super excited about today is Graham Norton is back I love I love the Graham Norton show. Like, I eat that shit up. It is easily the best talk show ever. You cannot tell me otherwise. There's nothing that beats it. The celebrities he has on it is unreal. And also, they're just so funny on the show. So, I'm excited to watch that with my family later. But for now, I'm going to tidy up this room a little bit so that I can chill in a cozy, clean space. Light some candles. Get cozy. Get comfy. Yeah, get in the autumnal mood. Autumn is here. Actually, when I post this video... Yeah, when I post this video, it's going to be the 2nd of October which is so exciting because then you're officially allowed to be as autumnal as you want and no one can give out to you so you go go buy yourself a pumpkin this weekend i'm gonna enjoy watching the rain <laughs> mm -hmm. 